Okay, okay. Hi and welcome. I'm Avi Arditi. And I'm Carolyn Prasuti from Central News at Voice of America. And uh, welcome to Talk to Us. Uh, actually, we are preparing to launch uh, in the next few weeks uh, a weekly call-in show on Skype. We've done several of these already and there's been a lot of interest, uh, people calling in from around the world. And so we're actually going to do this from a, from a real studio and we've got some exciting plans coming up. But the most exciting <laughs> event right now is it's Valentine's, Valentine's Day. It's coming Day. up tomorrow. Every week we'll have a different topic. We'll let you know ahead of time so that you can get your thoughts together, maybe practice your English for when you want to call in, and we'll tell you what the topic is so then you know what you're going to say or maybe some questions that you might have for us. And, of course, tomorrow, being the big holiday in the United States, Valentine's Day. And we've uh, got with us on Skype uh, from Rawalpindi in Pakistan, we've got Usama. And uh, uh, Usama, why don't you introduce yourself? Tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, uh, thank you. I'm from Pakistan and living exactly in Rawalpindi, a city uh, near to Islamabad. And I have completed my computer engineering from Comsex. And now I'm planning uh, to move to Australia for master's. But the reason yeah. why you're moving to Australia is fascinating, especially because yeah. of Valentine's Day. So yeah. tell us, tell us why, the, the real reason you're moving to Australia. <laughs> exactly. The real reason, of course, my half is living there, my loved one, of course, and, you know, so, um, uh, of course, I will learn also, because we have to put the food on the table, <laughs> right. so we have to do something. You say you're, you're half. Your your you're wife, your right. other right. half. Yeah. Yes, your yes, other. very well said. Now, um, does she celebrate Valentine's Day? Uh, uh, I'm sorry to say that uh, in Muslim, you know, right. we are teach to discourage that because, you know, it's different. It's diff mm -hmm. Very yeah, important no, to bring out. It actually started out as a religious Earth, holiday, uh, St. Right. Valentine. Different, you know. that, uh, right. That's right. Because, because you know, uh, uh, can I explain, please? Because, sure. you know, it's uh, in, our, in our culture, it's like every day is your Valentine day. What I think that, uh, I think that only one day is not enough to express Ooh. your emotions for your loved one. He's a I good mean, husband. He's a good husband. Well, I like that. Good point. That's great. There have been um, many Muslim uh, countries that have banned Valentine's Day. Saudi Arabia, one of them. Well, um, one every day. The, the printing uh, unions ha have banned it um, in, in Malaysia. Uh, so d different Muslim countries. And, and it's not it only Muslim countries, as, as right. I understand from right. what I've been, you know, I've been reading, because um, I think some people think it's frivolous, or uh, and, and it originally did have, uh, as Carolyn pointed out, you know, religious basis. But today, uh, you know, when people in the U.S. as Americans celebrate um, Valentine's Day, uh, often it's with yeah. uh, something like yes, Carolyn yes. brought in some some props here, um, like these little uh, uh, candies. The uh, what are these called again? The, wait. They're just candy uh, hearts, but if oh, you yeah. can read them, see they have different. <laughs> there, that one yeah, says awesome. awesome. Mm -hmm. They're almost like fortunes, and you hand them to people that you yeah. want to be romantically involved with or just friends with. Like that one says, too cool. And I like the one that you showed. Email oh, me. Email That's me. a new one. That's right. When I was growing up, that was not yeah. on these candy hearts, of course. And you give these. Mm. This one says, you mm. rock. And inside, of course, are little chocolates. Chocolates. Little, oh. So. Oh man, those look good. <laughs> we'll have these later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the tradition um, uh, that you so, give chocolates. I mean, it's 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 a day. In... Yes. Oh. Osama, what did you say? I said. I said it's a day in which I mean a loved one have to wait, or I mean he can express his feeling for her loved one, huh? Exactly, right. and it's um, uh, and then Carolyn also brought I in. Roses. I feel like I should have brought. <laughs> this is this is a biggie. Different roses, and they, the the colors mean something too. Like this is a red rose, and that means true love. That's right. right? That's right. Okay, so the mm. yellow one right here is friendship. Mm -hmm. right. So you can give this to anybody. Oh. The white one is innocence. Usually, white roses are used for our weddings here, yeah. and this one oh. you should never give. Do you know why? Which one? It's 
See what if Avi it? knows. Wait, what is this? Um, it's hey? artificial. Never oh. give your loved one an artificial rose. <laughs> so oh, I see. It's made out of it's made out of polyester. It's silk. Oh. It's silk. Yeah, silk. it's a silk oh. rose, and don't do that on Valentine's Day. So that's, oh, that's kind of really what we funny. Call okay. A faux pas. You should never do that. Right. It's a French term, but it means something negative that you do. Don't yeah, but I knew the mistake. yeah yellow. I knew is, is friendship, and red is is love, right. and then the white is is doesn't really have. Yeah, it's just nice. Innocence. Innocence. Yeah. A nice. Yeah, but young youth. Yeah. Maybe you could give those to children. Like. No, so Osama, what does your wife do in Australia? Oh yeah, she just started his, you know, uh, bachelor's. She just started his bachelor's in TAFE, T F E, Institute in Gold Coast. So uh -huh. she's just studying there. I forgot what exactly she's studying. Uh, I forgot the name of her program. So she's also studying here. Her family's there. So, yeah, and you're studying I will join computers? Her. Is that right? Computer. Yeah, I'm computer, computer engineer. Science. I'm computer, computer engineer. engineer. Great, great. Yeah. Well, Usama, so mm -hmm. yeah, we've got we've got other calls, yeah, uh, calls lining up here. So it's it's been great talking to you, and we oh. wish you the best um, in in uh, getting to Australia and yes. and and yeah, and your schooling. And your I, schooling. Need your, and, and, I need your prayers. No, okay, <laughs> you've, we'll you've got you them. Next. Thank you. Happy to. Okay, we'll talk to you later. So now we're going to go to um, Rafiula. Rafiula, are you there? Hello. Hello yes, Rafiula. this is Rafiula. Hi, welcome. Nice welcome to see you. To, uh, nice to talk to you and see you. Welcome to talk to us. And uh, so tell us a little bit about yourself. Where do you live? Uh, thank you. This is, this is Rafiula from Kabul, Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Welcome. Right. And, and what do you do in Afghanistan? I'm working in in office uh, with Ministry of Education. Excellent. Yes, I've 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 met actually um, English teachers and I think uh, an English teacher who worked with the Ministry of Education uh, in Afghanistan, and uh, we have a lot of listeners there. I know that we have a, a good good audience, good sized audience for the VOA special English programs. And Rafiola, we Afghanistan has been in our news just in the past two days. You know, our president gave the State of the Union last night, and one of the feature uh, topics to come out of that speech was the fact that we're pulling out a lot of our troops. About, about half of them from half that are there within now. A, You're right, Thirty-four thousand. Yeah, Car Carolyn did the main story for VOA last night on the president's speech. So, um, so mm -hmm. what what did you think? Did you did you watch the the President Obama's State of the Union? Uh, no, exactly. I didn't see and I didn't watch that. Um, but uh, I just hear about uh, the Obama speech that uh, he want to uh, bring out troops from Afghanistan. And on my opinion, it's good uh, f uh, for Afghanistan people uh, that the troops uh, go back to their country. Mm -hmm. By this time next year, they'll be back here. It'll be what, like thirty-four thousand out of the sixty-eight thousand are going to be are going to be leaving. Right. Are, so, are you optimistic? Um, what What do you think for the for the future for your country? For the future of my country, I think uh, uh, here must uh, some troops uh, remain here uh, in Afghanistan because when they go out completely from here. Uh, then the situation will go back to 12 or 13 years back, like uh, the Mujahideen time. Mm -hmm. And then it's good that there uh, remain some troops, uh, like 20 or 40,000 troops, mm -hmm. and they can control the situation. Rafaela, how often do you see American troops? Just when you're going about your everyday life, do you see them daily, weekly, and how many are on the streets? From the ISAF, what, the International Security Assistance Force in Kabul? Mm, usually, I am uh, going to my job. Uh, I just see them um, only once a week in Kabul city. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, in other provinces, I am going to Jalalabad, Nangarhar. Uh, I am usually see that them uh, every one year, uh, one day, and uh, two days after. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Now, well, you know, I mean, we, the troops. 
We want to ask you a question. Uh, on a in Kabul, now they are not. Okay. They are okay. not. One more time. You. The troops in Kabul you were mentioning. Yeah, the okay. troops in Kabul, they they are not uh, going outside uh, in the cities mostly. Mm -hmm. uh, before one year or two year, uh, they were coming out from their bases and uh, Go going out uh, farther and into the was and were walking in the roads and the cities. And now they are not doing like that. Right. They're, right. they're staying more staying within the, the staying more within their bases. Right. You're saying. Right. Well, Rafaela, it's thank you for calling. We've got other callers waiting, but uh, we want to wish you the best and and uh, thanks take for calling. Take care. Yes. Thanks. Thank you for calling. Okay, our next caller is um, Nguyen. And uh, Nguyen, uh, are you? Can you hear us? Hi, Nguyen. We can see you. Oh, can you hear us? You can't see us, but you might be able to hear us. Okay, well, let's, let's go. go to we'll go to Mohammed here. He's calling. Hello, Mohammed. Hello. Hello, Mohammed. Hi. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Afghanistan. Another Afghanistan. caller from Afghanistan. Where in Afghanistan? Yes, uh, I got this ID from Facebook, and I'm now learning English. I'd like to improve my English mm -hmm. knowledge, and I'm very happy for this program especially for VU, special English, oh. that they provide uh, a good program for those students that are, uh, they want to get uh, they want to get improved in their English knowledge. It sounds like you're doing well. Uh, uh, yes, I'm, uh, thank you for, for your kind words about special English. At, uh, at, uh, our, our programs, you can find them on, um, on the internet if, if people watching right now aren't familiar with them. You can find them at voaspecialenglish.com. Uh, which is also learningenglish.voanews.com, either address. You can get daily news um, and information programs for, for people learning English, just, just, just like Mohammed, to slower speed um, kinds of programs. But Mohammed, wh what do you do? Are you a, uh, what, do you have a job or are you a, a full-time student? Uh, I'm a student in uh, Polytechnic University of uh, Kabul, Afghanistan, in Engineering University, and uh, I'd like to post TOEFL or, or IELTS. Says oh. because of that I'm uh, very learn English. I because uh, I want to get um, uh, six half or seven number in Alice examination or I, w I want to post TOEFL examination. Because of that I would like to learn English and uh, I'm uh, sometimes uh, I'm using from VUA learning English clips, especially, especially from YouTube uh, oh. from YouTube site. That's and that's Carolyn. Alex. It's very good news, uh, very useful news. I'm I proud. I'm I'm proud. I proud for this. Uh, I'm very happy from <laughs> this system. Uh, okay. well, I like ask from you that yes. how's my English knowledge? How's my speaking? It's great. Uh, it's very yes. good. It's we've under I've understood every word you've said. Um, I think you're you're well on your way to doing well on on uh, for on the listening and. Re um, listening and speaking parts of the of the TOEFL and the IELTS. And I do want to point out, we actually have a, a partnership with TOEFL. Um, they recognize that the special English programs can help people um, prepare to take the TOEFL. It's reading and listening comprehension. You mentioned you watch the captioned videos on YouTube at the VOA Learning English channel. And Carolyn is the host of some of those Right. Those videos, and very happy to have you doing those, and uh, with a lot of fans. And we have a lot of topics for those. And we have a lot of technology, lot of topics. agriculture, health. You know, five yes, yes, I'm. Yeah, I'm using from these subjects, and I have one problem, especially in reading, because uh, I, when I face some uh, examinations and some uh, courses, or uh, there, there are some problems during uh, the reading. Special. There are very um, difficult passages, and how can I uh, how can I learn that? Uh, because I know that in uh, international examination, special and TOEFL examination, there are very um, difficult uh, passages. I know that, uh, but uh, if you guide me, I will. Uh, uh, that, that was that will good for me. How can I how can I improve my reading knowledge? Uh, from which um, from which books I can use that I want to get prepared for international examination. Can you guide me? 
Well, well, here, uh, Mohammed, um, do you go to the special English website, the main website? With um, we have every day um, texts and audio files of our stories, and so if you're, I mean, there are a lot of websites now where you can, you know, find uh, reading materials, newspaper websites. But if you're looking for materials written for English learners, uh, intermediate and upper beginner, I think you you certainly would fit, you know, within those. Definitely. To go to the special English stories and read the texts, and you can listen to the words, uh, the recordings, while you're, um, you're reading along. But really, I think practice. I, I'm sure you've right. heard teachers tell you this, but the more you can practice with real materials that interest you, that you can find on the internet, um, it's going to help you improve your, your reading comprehension. And another idea, Mohammed, you talked about watching us for those captioned videos. Remember, the words are right here That's underneath right. my chin, literally. And so if you turn down the volume and you just read the words, Absolutely. you air it one time that way, you play it that time one way, and then the next time, go ahead and play it full and see if you understood it the first time. So it's kind of like your practice. You look at it both ways. All right. Well, Mohammed, thank you so much for calling, and we're going to go on to the next caller, but, but good luck to you on, yeah. on your testing. So, Best of luck. Take care. Take care. Uh, we're going to talk to Nguyen now, and I think this was, uh, let's see, Let me go back to... Hi, Nguyen. Can you hear us this time, Nguyen? Nguyen, can you hear us? Can you hear us now? We see you. We see you, but we don't hear you. Okay. We're going to go to uh, Ahmed. Hi, Ahmed. No. Nope. Can you hear us? Uh, can, oh, we hear you. We hear someone. Yes. All right. Then let us um, do this. We're going to call this person who tried to call us. Translator. Translator. Is their name. Well, that S will be interesting. Be, yeah. <laughs> and we need to ask somebody, what's your favorite date? That's, there Maybe you go. The that was, date. that was, we were going to do that. We've been hearing all from men, so we want to hear from, from, hey, translator. Hello, translator. Hello. Hello. Now, why is your handle translator? Is that what you do for your jobs? Yes, exactly. <laughs> and what language do you translate into English? Uh, I, do, I do translation from English to Arabic and vice versa. Arabic, excellent. And where are you? Um, I'm Egyptian. I live in Cairo. Cairo. Mm. Yeah. You've had and, a busy couple of years. Oh, yeah. And what is happening in Cairo right now? <laughs> well, you tell oh, wow. us. You look out your window and tell us what's what's going on in Cairo today. Um, as usual, demonstrations and the protesters are flooding, flooding into the streets, um, asking and demanding some demands. And as usual, the government also does not respond to any one to any one of them. So we are still rounding about uh, toward each other's in the same circle. Mm -hmm. Translator, um, does that happen every day? It's pretty um, much every day, actually, right? Actually, actually, yes. Right. Since two years ago. Right. Since right. two years ago, t since the uh, what what we call, what we so called says what um, the Arab so called the revolutions so called the revolution happened in Egypt. Right, or the Arab Spring, we call it here. Did you? Um, so the Carolyn reported on the president, uh, President Obama's State of the Union speech last night, and he he did talk a little bit he about the Arab Spring. <laughs> Whoops! What? Uh, and, and Carolyn did did the main story for VOA. So w remind us, what did the president say about the Arab Spring? Did you listen to it by any chance, no. translator? Actually not. No. Actually not. Yeah. Um, he really didn't touch as much as we thought on the Arab Spring. He did talk a little bit about terrorism. Um, but he did say, you know, that he supported everything that was going on in the Arab Spring. The, cha the changes. The changes, the right, right, right. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, but he, he talked more about Afghanistan and, and uh, actually, right. actually, you know, we we heard it from the um, the Egyptian, the American embassy here, and the ambassador. Uh, she is for she is um, uh, meeting with the Egyptians uh, oppositions members and the and the Egyptians members from the government. She tried to um, to make um, any reconciliations and the compromise between them, and also I know that the um, the Congress is also trying to uh, help uh, Egypt in the economic situations and so on. Right. But actually, I didn't I didn't listen to the Obama, Mr. Obama, last night. You can go on voanews.com. Right. We That's have a right. lot of look coverage for, there. Look for Carolyn's story. And you know, truthfully though, the State of the Union is really for. The Americans, it's to give our state of our country for the next year, and it pretty much tells 
what Mr. Yeah. Obama is planning for this year. It's never, well, it depends on the time that the State of the Union is given and what's going on in the country at the time, but lately it hasn't been really heavy on foreign policy. Right. And last night was true to form. It was very heavy on the economy, jobs, um, and also gun violence, which we're having a problem with here Absolutely. in this country. Well, but, 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 but let me say, say to yeah. something I heard actually from Mr. Obama. Uh, maybe two days, two days ago, when I, I was searching on VOA special English, uh -huh. I uh, downloaded um, uh, essay. Uh, he was uh, asking, he was, in, in his speech, he was asking, uh, uh, um, asserting to the opposite, to the Republicans and the Democrats to to uh, gather their opinions together and the, put the peoples in the work against in order to. Um, uh, um, uh, to, to help the, 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 the American economy to recover. Yes, exactly. Uh, this, this is something very, very, it was very amazing actually, as uh, we here in Egypt suffering from the opposition, from the, from the opposite, as the oppositions and the government does not uh, sit on the same tables asking and negotiating with each other. Uh, this is actually what we did not see um, uh, till now. Right. Well, right. And, and although isn't ago. there been a lot of you know criticism that there's not enough you know we call bi bipartisanship you know between the Republicans right. and the Democrats and reaching across the aisle and they all they both have their individual plans but they need to compromise that's the real key okay. and I think you're learning that too in Egypt you're seeing your government needs to do that as well. Well, translator, it's been a pleasure Thank talking you. to you and we're going to go on to our Good next. English. Take care. Uh, we're going to go on to Ahmed. Hello, Ahmed. Hi. Hello, Ahmed. Can, can you hear now. us? Hi, how are you? Hello, Hi. it's Thanks. good to talk to you. Well, I'm uh, from Iraq. From Iraq? From Iraq. Good, good to Where have you Iraq? on. Where in Iraq? Yeah, I'm from Iraq. <laughs> Excellent. What, what part? Uh, uh, Baghdad or another city? Or? Basra. I'm from Basra. 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 How, how are things? What's, what's going on in Basra today? Well, uh, it's going well. Nothing new. Uh, everything is uh, okay what, what for do, me. Mm -hmm. What do you do there? Do you work or do you go to school? Well, I'm a pharmacist. 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 Do you work full time as a pharmacist every day? Uh, Barbara? Do you work daily every uh, day? Is it a, a full time job as a pharmacist? Uh, yeah, I work daily. Yes. And where did uh, you learn English? Well, uh, I'm learning English uh, uh, in school, mm -hmm. but uh, um, I, um, I have tried to uh, uh, well develop myself by uh, uh, learning by internet. Oh, that's good. And you listen to learning English, uh, VOA to the special learning English. English. You, you know, I, um, we did a story actually how, in special English on how to become a pharmacist in the United States, and I was surprised. I, I shouldn't have been surprised that at the amount of education, um, because it's it's not a it's not a medical degree. It's a different kind of you know degree. But the the number of years of training required to become a pharmacist in the U.S. Can you tell tell us a little bit? about the requirements to become a pharmacist uh, in, in Iraq or in Basra. How, how many years of schooling did you need? Well, um, I don't hear what you say because huh. the internet is so weak, so... Okay. How many years did you go to school to become for a, your job? To become a pharmacist. Well, uh, um, uh, I ask you to read the question. I don't oh. hear it uh, well. Okay, it sounds like we're having a, a, a problem with the connection. We were saying about um, how many uh, years, but we're, we've got a, a, a Prashan has been trying to call us a few times. So, so Ahmed, we're going to wish you well in, in, your, in your work as a pharmacist, and we're going to go on. Ahmed, to, we're going to be on weekly, so call back. That's, that's right. And, okay, let's um, try to go to, oh, okay, we're going to take. Saeed? Saad. Hello. Are you Hello, there? is it Saad? Hello. Uh, hello. Hello. You're you're on with Avi and Carolyn. Hey. Is this Sayad? Hello. Hey. We can hear you. Where are you calling from? 
Oh, I think we're getting uh, a picture. I'm, here. I'm, I'm from Iran. From Iran. Iran. Where in Iran? Yes, yes. It's, it's, it's great to get a, a call from there because often it's difficult to, to call on right. Skype out of Iran. Right. So um, tell us about yourself. Welcome to uh, talk to us. Uh, thank you. Sorry, can I call back in two or three minutes' time? Sure. Uh, sure. sure. We will we'll wait yes, for you. Yes, yes, thank we'll you. We'll check back in Please with you. Please do. In the meantime, Bonita. we're going to talk to Bonita. Hi, Bonita. Hi, Bonita. Oh. Beautiful picture Hi. you have. Oh, there, there you are. are. Hello. Hi. Hi, where do you live? Yeah, I can see you. Well, Great. I, she can't. Oh, it's, she can't. Because oh, you can't. It's because we're... Okay. we're we're doing this on on Ustream so right. that the camera is being used for that. So tell, t remind us. I, I I believe I've talked. We've talked in the past. So tell us again. Where are you from? I'm from Uzbekistan, Tashkent. Tashkent, yes. Tashkent, yes. I, so how how have you been all this time? Uh, <laughs> we're actually preparing to do uh, to actually create a real weekly show of this. We've talked about this for a while. There's been a lot of interest here at VOA for us, for, for, for Callan and myself to do this every week. We're going, oh. there, we're trying to schedule a, a real studio. Um, and and to we'll do have this, a topic. And we'll have a topic. We'll have a question and, of the day and a topic. I, and did okay. you know that we have one today? Uh, oh. Yes. Uh, perfect date. Yes, Sent right. Day topic. So what is your perfect date, Bonita? Oh, my perfect, you mean uh, for me, uh, any date would be perfect <laughs> if it's made from the bottom of the heart. Oh, <laughs> from the bottom of the heart. Okay, and would it be going out or staying inside? Um, anything would be good if it's uh, with a person, uh, with, with, the, with Mr. Wright. <laughs> <laughs> I take it you haven't met Mr. Wright yet. Yes, yes. Yes. Have you ever asked Mr. Wright out, someone who you thought might be Mr. Wright? You know, in this uh, country, women do ask men out that's, on that's dates. Um, it's something new, you know, and some women don't like to do it, but... And I, I think among younger people, I get the sense from what, from what I read that they don't even necessarily call it a date anymore. It's kind right. of like hanging out, you know, hanging, okay, okay, hanging out okay. with their friends, doing it as a group versus the traditional you know, high pressure date. Okay. Date. No, really, actually, I never asked a man or my Mr. Right to go out, but I was the first one who called. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I good. Used to be the first one who oh, called. Nice. So, yeah. And no, I'm married now, so that's why I'm going to tell you oh, this nice. story. How, how many years? How many years have you been married? Um, nine. Congratulations. Wow. So, what do you do on your anniversary? Of your My wedding date. Yes. You mean nine anniversary or tenth anniversary? Well, I guess the tenth Any is going to be yeah. the big ones coming up. You've got the tenth. Um, yes, it will be only in a year and a half. So, I have not thought about that yet. <laughs> but if you planned it, what would it be, Bonita? Uh, that would be something great. Uh, we prefer, you know, we prefer to stay at home, and I prefer to cook some nice dinner and some romantic uh, candle light dinner and so on and so forth. So I think it will be something like that. And my husband, he also prefers to stay at home. Uh, so we'll arrange something uh, very intimate and uh, romantic. That sounds good. Wow. Your, your English is excellent. Are there, are there any tr uh, local traditions? Tell us about the traditions for um, a Valentine's Day in Tashkent or in Uzbekistan. Uh, actually, we don't celebrate it here, frankly saying. Um, uh, it's, uh, it's another holiday here. It's the mm -hmm. uh, birthday of famous poet uh, Babur. He's called Babur. Mm -hmm. But uh, youth, yes, uh, among youth, uh, it's widely celebrated. I mean, not officially, but uh, how to say, in public, not in public, um, right. in, uh, in between people, yes, I don't sure. know how to say it. Between right. individuals, casually. Yes, well, yes, between well, individuals. Bonita, I, I, I hate to, to, to cut us off here, but we're getting a call from Iran, and we were waiting for this caller. So we will talk to you again. Great so happy Valentine's you. Day to you. And we're Thank gonna, you. Bye, Bonita. Valentine's Day to you, too. Bye-bye. Yes. Bye-bye. Okay, we're, um, let's call our, our, our friend back here, our caller. Um, oops. Let's see. Okay, we're going to try to uh, reestablish our call. We had a call. It's getting a call right yeah, maybe. Uh, um, yeah, let's try that. that. Let's see if we can... See if she's there. 
All right. Saad, can you hear Hi. us? Hi. Oh, there we go. There you Hi. go. You, you just called us a, a minute ago, right? You're, uh, tell us again where you're calling from. Uh, I told you, Iran. Oh, okay. Right. Just, right. Just, uh, just double check. Um, because we've been getting a lot of calls. I want to make sure you were the right, the, the person who just called from a minute ago. So, so tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you do in yeah. Iran? Uh, actually, I'm, I'm an office worker, uh, 34 years old, and I'm married. Mm -hmm. And uh, my son is coming in less than two months. Oh, oh wow. Con Congratulations. Congratulations. Do you have a name yet? <laughs> huh? Do you have a name for him yet? Yes. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I may name him Sina. Sina. Oh, nice. Is Sina. that your first, this your is, first child? Is this your first child? Actually, I've been married just for two years. Oh, yes. Oh, so okay. many more, right? Oh, nice. How many more? Yeah, how big a family do you want? Huh? How big a how many kids do do you and your wife uh, anticipate uh, having? How big a family? Uh, actually, I, I think we we like to have two babies. Uh -huh. Maybe uh, after my first baby, so maybe in two or three years' time. That's a good plan. Nice. Maybe a yeah. little girl. Yeah. Yeah, that would yes. be nice. That would be Great. Nice. First, what, now you said you you've been married two years. Yeah, for two years. And so, you know, we're talking about dates That's today. Right. You know, in America, we celebrate Valentine's Day, which I... Oh, it was Valentine's Day. Right. Tomorrow, on the 14th, right? Yes. So when you take your wife out, where do you take her? On a date? Do you have dates? On, on the weekend or for a special event? What's a special event like uh, for you and your wife? Uh, actually, for me and my wife, we... Uh, we I mean, the best thing we, we, we usually do is uh, walking. We just go walking and sometimes we eat out. Excellent. Yes. And, it's, uh, and, and your life, I could say this as a parent, your life is about to change. And I think... <laughs> <laughs> You'll be strolling. <laughs> but it will, it will be three of you walking and it will be a, a great experience. It really will. Yes. So I've got a question. Are you yes. teachers? Only through Voice through, of America. I mean, we what we do here. Uh, I mean, I'm, a, I'm I've been a journalist my my whole career, and and, me too. and for the last um, twenty years, over twenty years, have been here at VOA working in uh, news for people learning English. Um, it was uh, I used to work in newspapers and and wire service and and covering you know news um, for native uh, English speakers and for international audiences, but this has uh, been a great experience meeting English teachers. I've met so many English teachers over the years that I, and have taken classes, actually a few classes um, on teaching, uh, you know, teaching English. And, uh, and so um, in a sense, you know, we're, we, we help people learn, but we're not officially, you know, licensed teachers. And I, I'm the same way as Avi, you know, years in the business, in the media industry, but I did teach at the college level. I taught news writing in Richmond, uh -huh. Virginia at... Uh, I didn't know that. Yes. That's, that's really cool. At Virginia uh -huh. Commonwealth University. So I do have teaching in my background, but that was for a short time. Um, teaching uh -huh. isn't my first career. My first career is television. And, and I am married to a teacher. So <laughs> I'm a school teacher. So. It turns you are a couple, aren't you? What? I mean, uh, you are a couple. Uh, <laughs> no, oh, just no, here at work. No, no, just here at work. <laughs> I probably right. spend more time with Avi that's than right. I do that's, my husband. No, yeah. that's sometimes. I mean, you were, well, Carolyn was, you were here till three or four this morning. Right, 4, 4 a.m. Carolyn three was. Three hours of sleep, so that's why maybe I'm a little bit what we call slap happy. Or punch, punch drunk, punch giddy. Drunk. <laughs> uh, Carolyn was reporting on President Obama's State of the Union speech last night, so she pulled together uh, the main VOA video story. TV story um, about the speech. I don't know if you heard it or read about it in, in the news. Yeah, that's great. And that's Iran was mentioned in the speech. Why don't you remind us what, what did the president say? Right, the speech he was speaking about North Korea um, and the nuclear uh, device that was, that, that was exploded the day before the speech. And then he mentioned how North Korea is isolating themselves by doing this. And then he mentioned Iran, and Iran must learn to negotiate. They must learn uh, mm -hmm. to tap down their nuclear ambitions too and rather negotiate with countries. So that was uh -huh. the mentioning of Iran. The, uh -huh. 
I mean, the, the, uh, the State of the Union speech, as uh, Carolyn was uh, mentioning with an earlier caller, is, is mostly aimed at a domestic audience, understandably. It's a chance for the president to talk about the condition, the state of the, the union at, at the, you know, any given year. And so, especially in recent years, because of the recession and, and high unemployment rate, State of the Union has, has really emphasized um, economic issues, jobs. Uh, jobs, but also this year um, President talked a lot about gun violence. There were uh, a number of people, invited guests in the audience, um, in Congress, uh, victims or family members of victims of, of gun violence because of the, the horrible shooting at the elementary school in Connecticut and other recent um, shootings that have brought attention to this issue. And many people in the audience were wearing ribbons. Green, on their the lapel. green ribbon. Green and white and black ribbons as well. Okay. So there were various colors of ribbons and that meant that you were supporting, um, well, you were in sympathy with those who had been touched by gun violence or you yourself had been touched by gun violence this past year. Uh -huh. so, yeah, that's good. Yeah, it was an interesting speech because it, it, it really included a lot of issues, it did. Um, it, it now it wasn't us. quite the the uh, the kind of situation I know when your your president recently appeared in Parliament and played that video and caused caused quite a stir. And, uh, we don't we don't tend to have uh, things like I'm, that I'm, here. Where I'm really sorry, but, but are we talking about politics or Valentine's no? Day? <laughs> I don't is, know how we got on this. We'll talk, let's go back to Valentine's Day. We don't you know we'll talk and about whatever people want to talk about. So, but um, uh, but you see that's the I, journalists in us coming out. Right. But I prefer to uh, not to talk about politics. That's, that's fine. fine. That's, that's fine. Your English yeah. is really good. I mean, I feel like I'm speaking to a native English speaker because you're doing so well with your English. Yes. You know, actually, I've been practicing for almost 10 to 12 years. Oh. And uh, I love it. I mean, uh. you know, I've got the talent to learn languages. Yeah. I can speak a little Arabic, too. Uh -huh. And I speak Kurdish, too. Oh my gosh, great. It's four. Yes. Yeah. Actually, I was born in uh, uh, Baghdad. Uh -huh. Yes? Yes. yes. Yeah, because, you know, my, my great grandfathers were from the Kurdish part of Iran, so we were exiled to uh -huh. Iran. Uh -huh. in, uh, uh, actually, uh, when, when the Saddam was president. Uh -huh. Right. Yes. Uh -huh. That's and, it. And it. Then it's a little Complicated. So when did you uh, come back to Iran? Uh, 32 years ago. 32 ago. years ago. And how did yeah. you meet your wife? Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Yes, actually she's my cousin. Uh -huh. uh, it's just a, 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 a typical marriage, you know. Uh -huh. Here uh, we usually do not... Actually, nowadays it's changing, but I decided to marry in, in the traditional way because I, I, I was married once. I got a divorce, and then I decided not to be friends. I mean, just, I asked my mom to find me someone. I met her, we talked, and then we married. I think it, it, uh, this experience was better than the first one. Wow. First one, we, yes. We were friends, and we, unfortunately, we didn't succeed. Mm -hmm. Has yeah. she been married before? Uh huh? Has your, has your, uh, your current wife, has she been married before? No, no, no. That, that's the first time. And do you have children from your first marriage? No, oh, no, we were married just for nine months. Oh my, quick. Yes, yes. And did your wife, like, had she also gone to her mother and said, I want to get married the traditional way, or was she looking, or? In Iran, or let's say in Middle, Middle East countries, uh, men propose, not women. But well, it's was typical she, here, probably, I, I would think, it's, yes. traditionally. It's not what, you know, uh, even if the girls love you, they just uh, try to get your attention. <laughs> well, she got yours, I think, after your mom introduced <laughs> you, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Great. Well, good yeah. luck to you. Well, Saad, it's, it's, it's been great talking to you, and, and congratulations on about to become a, a father, and you'll have to so, send us okay. baby Sorry. pictures. Can you name my son? Do you remember my son's name? Can you spell his name? It's you know I'm a visual person. I like to see it and then uh, I remember it. Yeah, yeah. There is a there is a desert between Israel and Egypt. Mm -hmm. uh, 
which is called Sinai, I think, in English. Yes, yeah, this is Sinai. Yeah, Sinai. this is Tom's name. Oh, so Sinai. that's S I N A I. It would be in the it's, English. Ah, yeah. Sinai. Oh, how do you, it's how pronounced do you differently. It? What? We pronounce you, Sinai. Oh, Sinai. Si Sinai. Sinai. Yeah, but yeah. you're pronouncing just different accent. Oh. You're pronouncing yes. the second accent. Exactly, right? yes. Well, right. great. It's It's been great talking to you, and you'll have to call us back with baby pictures in a few months. <laughs> All right? Congratulations, Sad. <laughs> okay, uh, take care. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Nice talking to you. you nice, nice talking, talking to you, too. Bye-bye. Okay, well. Spoke English very well. Very nicely. Oh, very, very good. Know. Well, we're going to wrap up um, this uh, edition of Talk to Us. Now, we have it's a name. Fun. Been fun. We have a okay. we have a name for our show. We uh, we we've got chocolates. Yeah, we've got. Uh, oh, you know, there's one thing I wanted to mention. This is something interesting that you can learn. Do you see the X's and O's there? That's something that maybe. Um, oh, the X and the O. In fact, you know what? New Listen, English learners might. We're not gonna know. do this. Let me get take. We have one more caller. Last <laughs> last caller here, Usama. Hello. Hi, hey. Usama. Where where are you calling from? Uh, Algeria. Welcome. Algeria. Welcome. Great. Um, this here's a here's a good uh, question for you. So now I don't know if you if you can see our our video. Pr probably not because we're. Um, there we go. All right. Okay. 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 But there. we, uh, Carolyn is asking the letters X and O. If you see X O in like a a note, if someone signs a letter with X O X O, what do you think that means? X O. The letters X and O. X and O, yes. uh, something in the past. No. It's something in English. I think it's, it's, it's probably just for our language. I, I don't know. It's but, it's. Uh, it's it's uh, adios or language. Uh, I don't know. Like I do. Well, it's it's hugs and kisses. This is the first uh, time I heard. I heard it. You the uh, first time you've heard of it. That's well, good. The, That's what we wanted to teach everyone that an X means kiss. And an O is a hug. Wait a minute. I thought, the your... X, I thought the X was the uh, hug. Oh, no, because the O, that's your arm. Oh. It's the, your arms oh, okay. that form the O. Okay, I just learned something. So <laughs> I always thought XO meant, you know, hugs and kisses. Because you usually say, you don't say kisses. Well, maybe people do, kisses and hugs. But if you sign a note, like, to, to you know, to a sweetheart, to someone you like, you, would, you, you could, you know, sign it XO or a series of XO, XO, XO. Um, XO, uh, sorry, X. Oh, yeah. Those and letters. So it's it documented kiss. Oh, what does it mean? A kiss and a hug. A kiss and a hug. Right. It's, you know, it, it came uh, long before the smiley face or, you know, the, the little... Uh, you, you could put that. You could sign a greeting card with that in place of love and then your name. You can put an X and L. Or both. You could put XO. Yeah, you could, you yeah. could say uh, love and XOXO. You know, and then put so, your name at the end. When, 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 when can I use this? Uh, this uh... Well, do you have a girlfriend? Yeah. <laughs> or a wife? Do you have a girlfriend or a wife? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, yeah. you know, it's often used on texts these days. Uh -huh. You see it a lot sure. on texts. Oh, you know, you so, uh, so, will I spell, will I spell it uh, only X L? Just only X L. Yeah, that's right. You, you, could, you, you could say, it, you know, if, if you're making. <laughs> My girlfriend, uh, if I want to tell her I love you or something That's like right. that. That's right. Well, I'm, cu I'm curious. Huh? In Arabic, is there a similar uh, a greeting at the end that would would be equivalent of a, a salutation like that, of, of sending, a, you know, to say kisses, hugs, something? Uh, is there a similar... A symbol. A symbol. A, symbol a symbolic way of expressing uh, love like that. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, okay. It's a good word. <laughs> it's, uh, I can uh, use it. Every time. There is a sign, but There's it's hard a, to tell us. It's hard to describe. You'd have to. Yeah, yeah. So, so, sorry, sorry. I want to, you can uh, email it to us. That's right. Or, some... or write it down and hold it up to your camera so, uh, you know, so we can see. But uh, can, can, you see, can, you, can you see me? Yeah. Yes. yes, we can see you. Absolutely. What does it say on your coat? It says something on the left side of your coat. Mm hmm. What does that say? Yeah. It's right by your shoulder, well, right, right here. Our yeah, audience yeah. can't see you, but we can see you. The uh, yeah. it looks like you have a, a coat with words on it. But, uh, but, but, but sorry, I can't uh, see you. <laughs> no, it's it's because we're we're capturing the video sure. of us on UStream. So Skype and UStream don't work well together with the camera. 
But um, so, what are, are you a student, or you look very young? How how old are you? Uh, twenty-two. 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 So twenty-two years old. What do you yeah. do? What do you uh, do? You work? Do you go to school? No, I just uh, still um, just a student, and uh, sometimes uh, work. Sometimes not uh, always. And what? When I when I get money, I I go to work. Well, not sure. Well, what can you repeat that? You, you the voice cut out a little bit. Can you say that one more time? What? Sorry. The last we heard that you were a student and you work some time, but then you said something about giving something maybe to your girlfriend. I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. We don't want to put words in your mouth. What did you just? You said something about, um, but we didn't hear it because the Skype cut out a little bit. But what? Uh, okay. I, I said I, uh, I'm a student. Uh -huh. Okay, and sometimes I go to work when, when I need some money. Oh, okay. You oh, go, you you go to work when you need money, sure. And what type of work yeah. do you do? Uh, sorry, I'll tell you. What, where do you work? What kind of work do you do? Uh, oh, in the some commission, in the mall. Some commission, but okay. what type of commission? Yeah. Yeah, education. Education. It's we're hearing like yeah. every huh? education right. commission. Education. Maybe. Well, do you know? Are you going to be doing anything for Valentine's Day tomorrow? Is are you uh, familiar with that? Or no. you... uh, for tomorrow? Uh huh. Uh, sorry, I uh, yeah, I didn't understand your uh, question. Well, tomorrow tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Today, for people, lots of people will be writing little X's and O's on their letters. You mean, you mean, you mean Valentine's Day? No. It's right. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Are, are you going to be doing anything special with anyone for Valentine's Day? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I will go in with my uh, with my girlfriend mm -hmm. for uh, trips. A trip? Yeah. Where? Yeah. Some. Where? Uh -huh. Going someplace special? Uh, yeah, yeah. In my country, the place, place in my country, yeah. The close in my city. Ah, special so, uh, place in the city. I want, I want, I want to ask you if uh, how, or what do I think about my my English? Because uh, I want to test test me. What do we think of your? Wait, 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 that's right. I mean, I, I, yeah. I think, I think your English because, is is very good. Because really, no, because really, I have I have been studying English since last year. I have one year uh, only. Osama, your so, English is good. It's just the internet connection is not good, and that's why we don't understand you. Everything, everything you're saying that we can hear. We're understanding right. every word. I think your pronunciation is good. Um, your your the right intonation and, and emphasis on the right s syllables and the and so in but terms of speaking it, I think you, you you do a very good job speaking English. I, I don't know about no. re re your reading. I mean, how how do you feel you are as a reader? Um, it's okay. Okay. Keep practicing. Well, well, Osama, we we've we've got to wrap up here, and we we will uh, wish you well, you and your girlfriend, a, a great <laughs> happy Valentine's Day, and a good uh, time in the city tomorrow. A good, going a good, good time special. in Algeria, some some place special, and uh, we're going to uh, when we're done here, post uh, the video of this uh, today's uh, episode or or this show it was fun. Uh, on our YouTube channel. It was fun. A lot of fun. Um, a lot of news. A lot of exciting. Comments? We'll let you know. We'll, we'll post our plans for Talk to Us uh, on our Facebook page, and, and hopefully we'll have the show, you know, ready to go in, in just a few weeks. And we want to uh, thank you all for for tuning in. And Carolyn is reaching okay, for Valentine's wishing day. everyone uh, seen this? who's people. Yeah, that's, yeah, <laughs> careful with their thorns on there. But uh, happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Uh,